some suspects think a high-speed pursuit is a joke or a game. But officers will tell you it's no joke for them. It's life or death. Los Angeles, California. The LAPD pursues a stolen vehicle. Tried to pull it over. It kept going, and that's when the pursuit started. Inside are two ruthless gang members. This is not their first pursuit. The driver was in a chase just a year earlier. The driver starts things off by blowing through intersections. You saw him run a red light there, very dangerous. With police right on his tail. Then the driver gets bolder. He executes a series of random U-turns. Oh, look at that U-turn, uh, and that's a very narrow street. Still, the officers are right behind. But what he does next is just bizarre. You don't know which way this guy is turning. As the stolen vehicle approaches an intersection, the driver suddenly begins to drive in circles. And that's a twist that we have never seen in, uh, in any pursuit. Not exactly the antics of a man trying to outrun the law. And this is almost some sort of game to this guy. But the police patiently follow, even as the suspects do it again, and again, and again. Unbelievable. As this strange pursuit enters its second hour, a crowd forms along the streets. Some are just curious onlookers. But others cheer on the gang members in a show of solidarity. But pursuing officers have their share of supporters as well. And somebody threw something at the vehicle. Outraged at the suspect's utter disregard for the law, a woman throws a garbage can at their car. But that was something that we have never seen in any pursuit. By now, even the suspects have had enough of this circus. In a feeble attempt to blend into the night, the driver suddenly turns off his headlights. The vehicle has just blacked itself out. LAPD helicopters immediately respond. They flood the suspect's car with a spotlight so powerful, it's called the night sun. We may be in a situation where he might be uh, considering uh, getting out of that vehicle and running for it. Moments later, the suspects make yet another turn, but this time, they've driven onto a dead-end street. Here it goes from here. This is going to end right here. In a last-ditch effort to escape, they run into the night. And out the foot fail. The driver barely exits the car before the police catch him. But it looks like the passenger has a real chance of getting away. And he's running up the hill there toward the freeway. The officers are close behind with their guns drawn. After hours of toying with the police, the suspect finally realizes that this pursuit is no game. Defeated, he gives up. And now we've got two in custody, code four, it's all over. Both suspects face years at a juvenile detention facility. No matter how much these suspects tried to bait, taunt, and infuriate pursuing officers, and this is almost some sort of game to this guy. The LAPD remained uncompromising in their efforts to stop them. And a chase that became a sideshow ended with two showboating punks off the streets.